<laughs> yes. I was reading all the comments today, and uh, we were so sorry to put the show off to today, but then I thought, well, today will be fun. And um, there's just a lot of things going on. Nothing wrong with my health. Thank you for all your concern and everything. Um, it's been a hard week, huh? I'm so glad that we're all together tonight. And let's just, let's just um, let all that go, poof. Let's try to not even focus on it because um, we're all doing the best we can. We're thinking the best thoughts that we can. And um, I don't know, I watch it and I feel sad, don't you? So I've stopped watching it. Yeah, you have stopped watching it. I can't it. watch it anymore. I get addicted, that's the problem. I know, I, get addicted I know. It's all live television, I've always loved. I have, the last time I watched live television like this was the O.J. Simpson trial. Then you're up, then you're up half the night, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I watch the news and I don't sleep. And then, it's so and disturbing. Then the other half of the night, it's this. <laughs> really? Are those the noises I make? No. No. Here's what you you, you make. Are you gonna Are you gonna tell me what I do? You, what make, you're gonna just do something. Else. <laughs> what noises do I make? <laughs> you actually make I, I, sort of nice breathing sounds occasionally. That apnea thing kicks in, <laughs> and I have to. I actually, what I do. Uh, I lay there in bed thinking, oh my God, what's happening? She's not breathing. <laughs> so I reach over and I put my hand on your stomach uh -huh. or your back uh -huh. and just to make sure you're still breathing. And once I decide that you're still breathing, then I can go back to sleep. But it takes me a while because when I hear you go, <laughs> I'm thinking, my God. This woman can't get any oxygen. You, do you know how many times I wake you up when you go? <laughs> you, know, you know what apnea is? There, there are a couple of reasons for apnea here. I go again. Um, thyroid, low thyroid, can cause you to have sleep apnea. And so if but your thyroid's not low. What? My th my thyroid what do you take, two and a half grains? Yeah, my thyroid is, is actually perfect. Um, the other reason that we get sleep apnea is jaw misalignment. And we all have it to some degree. Do you, do you grind your teeth at night? Um, that grinding of the teeth and over a lifetime of grinding your teeth, um, it, it's, off, it's off center. And so uh, the alignment of the whole neck and jaw and everything gets off and then you go like that. So. I think everybody, in my new book, A New Way to Age, which I should have a copy here. Okay. Yeah, that's my way of saying, would you go get me a copy? Um, I did an interview with a dentist, Dr. Leonard Feld, who saved Alan's life because, you know, Alan, Alan was hung when he was eight years old by a mob of um, terrible boys and left him Hanging, can you imagine? I never knew that until I was writing, I believe I was writing Keeping Secrets, and uh, I interviewed his mother to find out what Alan was like as a little boy. So I wanted to put the, the contrast between him as a little boy and me as a little girl, and our experiences. I had the alcoholic father and all that. And his mother said, well, after the hanging, I said, what? So when I came out from talking to his mother, I said to Alan, why didn't you tell me you were hung as a child? And he didn't remember it. When memories are so painful, he repressed it. And, and then it all came flooding back. And, but what that did was, uh, uh, imagine, imagine. Um, he compensated all his life without realizing. We, we compensate for misalignment. And um, three years ago, it got real bad. Like, real bad. And... Um, he, he had a lot of toxins in his blood uh, when his blood work would come back. That's why I say ch check your trichothecene levels. That's in the back of, oh, here it is. Thank you, darling. It's, it's in the back. Uh, I have all the tests are in the back. Dr. Leonard Feld's in the back. This, I'm really proud of this book. This, this book is, 
this book was a, 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 a mission for me to write. It was, it's that important, and I, well, I'll finish the story, because I digress. But, uh, well, I'll have another digression. By the way, to all of you, I feel like I know all of you. I feel, and I love you, Ellen. I love, I love you. all of you. There's something really special that's happened. Um, it doesn't matter if there's a hundred thousand of you or a million of you watching, it doesn't matter to me. You, you, the reason you've tuned in is there's a like-mindedness. And uh, we all want to live better, healthier, cleaner, brighter, <laughs> gooder. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so anyway, Alan was starting to have these uh, facial tics and facial spasms and things. I'm telling you them about your childhood. And um, I, 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 when his trichothecene levels came back, that's what is your toxic burden. It's really important to find that out. Um, uh, it, it, was, it was high. Now, why would it be high? Because um, we, we don't use any chemicals. We don't clean the house with any chemicals. We don't spray any chemicals anywhere. And so I took him to this doctor down here in the desert, Dr. Dan Johnson, who I write about in this book, and uh, Alan was having this episode, and he said to Alan, may I examine you? And, I, and Alan said, sure. And so he had Alan take his shirt off, and he said, do you realize you're crooked? And I've lived with this man all my adult life. I never noticed, it appears where your shoulder is, that Alan's shoulder was just like that. Very slight, very slight. But because we don't want to see the world like this, what do we do? We straighten up. So when we straighten up, if your alignment's off, you lower your shoulders so that your, your um, eyes are looking at the world on an even keel. And he said, um, you know, I just, I just came back from uh, ACAM, which is the uh, anti-aging convention of all these incredible doctors. I usually go to that. And he said, I had an hour to kill. And across the hall, I saw this lecture on this dentist who was going to talk about jaw misalignment. And he said, I don't care about it. What do I know? I don't care. But I went in there just to fill the time. He said, I was blown away. He said to Alan, I think you have serious jaw misalignment. So he said, it happens that that dentist is down the street. So we got in the car, and we went to that dentist. And when we got into the dentist chair, Alan's um, facial tics had, had become really bad and he couldn't control it. And I started to cry. And the dentist, Dr. Feld, touched my shoulder and he said, I can fix this. And I believed him. Belief is everything. And um, what he did was he took a, a, an MRI of his whole jaw, a panoramic, and saw that the alignment was completely off. And when your alignment's off... Plus there was a, a bone yeah. floating around in there. From this episode yeah. when he was eight That had years separated. Yeah. yeah. So when your alignment's off, and there are two nerves, here I go again, <laughs> but from the GI tract comes the trigeminal nerve and the vagus nerve. It goes through the heart, behind the ear, up to the brain. Now, when all's well, that's great. That's the flow. That's the flow of the energy of your body. But imagine if your jaw is out of line and it's sitting on those two nerves, these two nerves that go up to your brain, causing facial tics and facial spasms and stopping the blood flow to the brain. And I know. I know that that day Alan was going to have a heart attack and this was thwarted by this dentist who that day made these appliances for Alan to remove and move his jaw back into place. He had to wear for a while, it's really uncomfortable, a top and a bottom um, as many hours as he could during the day. But you know what? We got Al back. We saved Al's life, and for any of you, if any of what I've just said resonates with you, not the terrible experience Alan had, but if you were a kid and you fell off the monkey bars, or you fell off your bike, or if you're a boy and you love getting rammed in the head in football, you know, um, 
all those things cause jaw misalignment. I, I sit now watch boxing and I, I can't watch it because bam, 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 I, I can't stand it because I know the damage is being done. And how the brain is so fragile, but you can't shake the brain around too much. So that's in this book. And I think that that, for a lot of you, if, any of, if what I just said to you resonates in any way, this could be life-saving information for you. And um, I think it's why I do this work. You know, I love to sing. And maybe if, I have Bob Ludwig, my uh, sound guy, coming down tomorrow to set up my sound equipment in my dining room because it blew a fuse or whatever happens to stuff like that. And he's coming to set it up again. So you're all asking me to sing and now that's becoming something that I'm really looking forward to doing. I just need the sound equipment to be able to hook up my my tracks and things like that. But we'll get a little Hey sound. Alan, uh, well, while we're discussing sound, could you move the camera, could you move the whole thing a little closer to Suzanne? Sure. Just move everything closer to Suzanne. And oh. Okay, let me adjust uh, this. So yeah. don't rattle your drink, Al. Yes, I mean we, as everyone knows, we Facebook has a, a difficult time with sound for some people, um, but we're doing. There, there's not much we can do about it, so we're just going to move the camera a little closer to Suzanne to try to help them. All right, I'll turn the music down a little bit, although I'm still enjoying it. Yeah, and for those of you who have headphones, that helps. Yeah. It's, um, we have tomorrow Roger, remember Roger from Malibu last summer, my uh, lighting designer, and uh, Bob Ludwig, my sound man, and um, they're both coming tomorrow to turn our summer bar into uh, a, a magnificent studio so that you won't have sound problems after tomorrow, you won't have lighting problems after tomorrow. So. Well, I think I think a lot of the I think of a lot of the sound problems are not from us. Yeah, yeah. Wonder why? I wonder why they can't get their act together, or as they say, get their shit together. Some people can hear fine, and we don't need to keep discussing it because it's the same. Yeah, listen, I you know what? And other people can't hear. I don't. I just don't want to turn this show into a whole thing about the sound stuff. So let's just stop. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Now that's pretty high. Yeah, so. Do I look good? Yeah, of course. Okay, all right. Okay. Of course. Anyway, I'm, I'm glad to share that story with you. Well, you know that, that you know, when everything cooled down, calmed down. With your face. With my face. Uh -huh. yeah. And we went back to, uh, you know, the doctor, the dentist. And he said, uh, you know, how's it working? I said, the, the face works fine, but ever since you fixed my face, my ass fell off. <laughs> and he didn't do oh, that. Nice. He just okay. stared at me. By the way, this dentist doesn't have He, he stared at me. Yeah, right? He stared at me. I'm always surprised when people don't have humor. I was talking to someone the other day who had no humor. Anyway. Um, Why were you talking to them? <laughs> trying to get some humor out of them. Um, to add to things yesterday with the pandemic, with um, my hip, which is getting better by the day, with um, all that's going on in our cities all across America, which is... So sad. Um, as someone who, um, you know, has spent so much time entertaining U.S. soldiers and all over the world, and I, I, it's just we all feel we, we, you know, we all love America, and this is just too bad. But anyway, then we had fire here in Palm Springs. Did we need that? And I'm looking out my window right here. I heard. I, I saw that there was an alert that came on my phone. I thought, no, no, I've been so chased by fire in my life. And, you know, my house burned down, our house burned down in Malibu, what, 10 years ago, I think. And um, uh, I thought, no, but I'm looking, you can't see it, but I'm looking straight out at the mountains right across from our house. And I heard, I heard planes flying over our house, planes don't usually fly over our house, no commercial jets fly over our house, but I heard planes and um, I figured, I didn't see any flames. I got up this morning, I looked out my office window and the hill that I look over there on the way to the Indian Canyon, which is, when we drive to the Indian Canyon, it takes what, 
10 minutes? Uh -huh. 10 minutes. From the ground up to the top of the mountain is all black and sprayed all the way around it is red fire retardant, which I know they gotta use, but that's a lot of chemicals in the air. And uh, that was, that was, I'm happy, thank God, for our firemen. Oh my God, they're so incredible. And it's so hot and dry here, and so, um, we, we have, it is 111 degrees here in the desert today. That's, that's hot for the desert. That's, that's but really you know, hot. the, the, it's 11, it's 111, but normally 111 is very tolerable. It's that it's muggy because it was overcast mm -hmm. and it keeps, and everybody in, in Palm Springs and every golf, they have 130 golf courses with all the water yeah. courses, whatever they call them. Yeah. And every house here has a swimming pool yeah. and all the, the humidity comes off all yeah. that water. And yeah. if it's overcast, yeah. the overcast keeps it locked in the valley because we live in a valley, it locked in the valley. Is it, is it um, uh, hot in Los Angeles today, Caroline? Um, yes, but like beautiful Los Angeles hot. Huh? Uh, uh, well, uh, I would, Al, whose uh, ancestry comes from the desert, somewhere, somewhere in the middle of the desert, somewhere, um, likes this intense heat. I, as you all know, am Irish. My name is Mahoney. And I'm supposed to be on a bluff in a warm wool coat in, with a bunch of sheep. And I happen to really like the way I look in winter clothes. So how I ended up here in the desert, it's you, Alan. You, you dragged me here. I know, here. I know. But you know, I'm blissfully happy Al, here. Alan, I'm so happy that you're surviving the heat. I have had a couple requests for you just to back off the mic a little because we all know how much you love Suzanne, but the heavy breathing is reading like you're really in love with her right now. Okay. Oh, he is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. Man, we got picky people tonight. <laughs> wow. No, they can hear you better. They okay. Can hear you now you know when you when you say things like that to Alan, he's just gonna. Really pretty in that pale pink. That's so pretty. Thank you. When you do, when you say things like that to Alan, listen. He becomes this guy. He's like not a behavior. He was the. He back when in his day when he had ink wells in the in the uh, desk. And he's the one who put the braids of the girl in front of him in the ankles. He's like a bad boy. Sheila. Sheila, you didn't even remember who you did Daddy it to. Daddy wants to know what the sale is today. Yeah. Okay. But I'm just going to get to that. Okay. Well, I want to first... I, I, I want to talk about Calm Renew. Have we ever needed anything more right now? I don't... Um, I don't take any drugs, pharmaceutical or over-the-counter, unless absolutely necessary. And you know, you go to your doctor and you say, I've got anxiety and I'm anxious and whatever, and then right away they give you anti-anxiety or Valium or sleeping pills or whatever. What if you could handle the whole thing with calm renew? You know what's in it? Get ready. L-theanine and lemon balm. Yep, yeah. And uh, it all comes from nature. And I don't know, I take this before I do a lecture. Not that I'm nervous when I give a lecture, but when I give a lecture, I wanna to be totally focused and I, I don't want any nerves or excitement to like um, interfere with my brain flow. I always take calm renew. Some nights when I can't turn off the noise in my head when I go to bed, I, I take uh, what I'm going to show you in a little bit, our sleep renew, which is melatonin, and I take calm renew. If you can do it without drugs, you're so much better off because every time you take drugs, um, you, you are putting foreign molecules into your body. The brain doesn't recognize foreign molecules. It doesn't know what to do with it, and it messes things up to, in, in the um, chemical balance in your body. So calm renew. Now you can show them the deal. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Heavy breather. Check this out. You girls started it. You told them you were breathing. <laughs> you, had you turned Al into bad Al. Okay. I, I could have warned you, but there it is. There it is. The bad deal Al. of the day. <laughs> 
I married the baddest of the bad boys, but I like it. Well, that's why you married me. I didn't know that when I met you. I didn't know you were a bad boy. I just found you so, um, where did I find you? Well, besides devastating. No, me. naughty. No, I didn't think of you as naughty. I found you, um, I don't know. I never met anybody like you. Well, you could describe it. That uh, on our first yourself. on our first date, <laughs> yeah. what did I give you? Oh, oh, he's so bad. Okay, here it is. <laughs> this is what he did on our first date. No, I, I've told you this before. I'm what in my early twenties, really early twenties. I don't remember. We've been together fifty years, and I'm seventy three. So at most twenty three, but I think I was even. I think it was more like twenty two. So. He gives me a pot brownie. Yeah. A pot brownie. But it was the it was the sixties. It was San Francisco. I know, but I, I it was Haight Ashbury. Okay, it was Fillmore West. It was hippie time. I know, but I wasn't a hippie. And it was lousy I, pot. I didn't know. I'd never I never smoked marijuana. I'd never tasted marijuana. I'd never gone near marijuana. And I was Bruce's mommy. And <laughs> um, God. But then again, I, he hands me the brownie and I thought, you know, I'm doing a lot of things tonight I've never done before. <laughs> I'm all in. <laughs> so I took the bite, like Adam and Eve, isn't it? I took a bite of the apple and everything from that moment on was so funny. He was funny. The room was funny, we were funny. I laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed and it was one of the greatest nights of my life. Well, there you go, so it wasn't so terrible. No, no, but, but I, I, I swear, had I not met you and you, had you not given me that pot brownie, I bet I never would have tried marijuana. But now, oh, speaking of that, um, we, uh, oh my gosh, Carolina's gummies. We are going to be selling you CBD gummies that, you know, I'm trying to manage the rest of what's left over of my hip pain without drugs. And uh, I've been chewing a couple of these CBD gummies uh, once a day. And wow, within 15 minutes, the pain has gone. And it's there's no THC in it. So it's just sort of the, the good part. In fact, in this book, in this book, I interviewed a guy from the CDC, Dr. Jeffrey Epstein. Fishman. No, 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 it wasn't Jeffrey Epstein. No, when I rewatched that series yeah, last right. night, it wasn't Jeffrey Epstein. Right. Oh my God, that's a sicko. Oh my God, he's so sick. Have you seen that series yet, Caroline? Which one? Jeffrey Epstein? Yes, it's terrifying. Awful, awful, yes. awful, what a sick, well, he's sick, and now he's gone, and now he's gone. Yes. Anyway, no. A lot of, a lot of people are asking, um, they think the box is tonight. So we we just, ex I'm not sure they can hear, but we just explained, we moved the Suzanne Selects box to Friday. Friday, you know why? You know why we moved it to Friday? Because Bruce and Carolyn are going to be here Friday night. They were going to come um, last night. Was that the night we canceled? Was last night or the night yeah, before? Yeah, last night. Last night, yeah. yeah. And um, I knew you all were waiting to have that show with Bruce and Caroline, so we moved the whole box and everything. Because when I have the box, I don't have to go uh, one by one with things. Anyway, um, I in this book, I interviewed Dr. Jeffrey Fishbein from the CDC, and I, uh, I chose him specifically because I didn't want a doctor who had a practice or an agenda. And he works with the CDC, and I knew that his arena specialty at the CDC was um, uh, CBD and THC. And he said to me, it's in this, in this book, he said, what we found at the CDC is that every single cell in our body, you know, those 70 trillion cells I'm always talking about, what you and I are, has an endocannabinoid receptor site. Endocannabinoid is for cannabis. And can you not make that noise out? Oh, sorry. <laughs> God. He stopped breathing, so he goes over there and works with wires and things. Bad boy. And um, 
And so that means that every cell in our body is craving cannabis. Now, why would that be? And I thought about that a lot. Why would that be? Wow, nature provided cannabis as a natural uh, tranquilizer, as a natural painkiller, uh, as a natural anti-anxiety. Uh, th there's so many things that can be solved with cannabis. It's gotten such a bad rap because of people like you in your generation, Alan. Yeah. Um, uh, but ours is from hemp. Ours is hemp only. There's no cannabis in it. Our CBD is hemp based. Okay. Um, and cannabinoid, right? And a cannabinoid. Wait, I, need to, I need to get my terminology down. You probably you probably have it right, but isn't cannabis pot? No. No. Uh, oh, no. cannabis is cannabinoid. Is CBD? Yeah, THC is is pot. So it's cannabis. It's the psychotropic. Okay, yeah. got you. Thank you for teaching me. I, I'm going to have to get this right before we sell it. Read my, read my book. <laughs> um, I have read it, but I didn't get it all memorized. Well, but yeah, no you, kidding. See, this is why we need you to explain CBD to us, because a lot of people think CBD is marijuana, and no. your CBD comes from hemp, hemp which is right. like a cousin exactly. to marijuana. Exactly. Okay, I just so found it you. interesting that nature provided this, and we have made it illegal all these years, and... Um, and now, now that it's legal in every state in the country, um, we're realizing actually this is something that we could use and not have to load up on pharmaceutical drugs. Again, I'm not anti-pharmaceutical, but if you can do the job without pharmaceuticals, a foreign molecule, you're better off, right? All right, so here's another thing, curcumin. Do you know why I always talk about curcumin? Curcumin is a, um, a major antioxidant, and um, anti I love talking about antioxidants and free radicals because um, free radicals, you know, are the bad guys, and the antioxidants are the good guys. So how do we get free radicals? Our bodies are like him, Alan, with the with the triclosan level that was so high. Well, the point of my telling you that was that we found out because they spray so much. Um, glyphosate on all the golf courses down here in the, in the Coachella Valley that what came up in his blood test was uh, glyphosate. Where would he get that? I don't use any chemicals. You know I don't use any chemicals. So it's in the air. What are they doing? What are they doing? I, I'm one small person in this sea trying to, to save us, you and me, Al, and our family, and anything that can spill over to all of you, my heart is in the right place. Honestly, my heart is in the right place. I, um, oh, my whole career is, is unlikely. I didn't plan it. I just wanted to be a weather girl. <laughs> Actually, you know, those guys at the TV station in San Francisco, when you auditioned for Weather Girl, Weather when, Girl. when you were 21 and, and you're BGO. wearing a, uh, a mini skirt where from the back you could see the bottoms of your panties and no bra, I was 19. wearing a, like one that. of those Indian tops. Yeah. And I don't think you had bells on your toes though. No, right? I, no, I wasn't a hippie. No, you weren't. No, I wore my heels. I've yeah. been wearing heels since I was in the uh, bassinet. And here's this uh, beautiful woman auditioning for Weather Girl, and you were really funny. Because I was stupid. Because you didn't yeah. know anything about the weather. I mean, it's so hot here. And they should have hired you. Yeah, Their I'm ratings sure. would have gone through the I roof. I know, I could have been the dumb weather girl. You know what, they used to have, the original weather people were serious meteorologists. Imagine. And Suzanne Summers coming on in a mini skirt and oh, no yeah. bra, and going, it's really hot in Oakland <laughs> today, but not so hot in San Mateo. <laughs> right. I, you know why I wanted to be a weather girl? Because I heard that they made three hundred and fifty thousand, three hundred and fifty dollars no, no. a week. Yeah. Five if they're on five nights a week, and I was struggling so much with Bruce and trying to put food on the table, and and I thought if I could make three hundred and fifty dollars a week, all our problems would be solved, and I didn't get the job. 
And then I finally moved to Los Angeles to um, hope that Alan Hamill would one day marry me. And of I course, of course, I was going to marry. I didn't you. know that. Yeah, I was just holding off as long as I could. <laughs> right. I was happy with the arrangement. <laughs> of course, when I got to Los Angeles, two days into moving in with Alan Hamill and Bruce, and it was in the crappiest little apartment that you lived in. Here I thought I was marrying, a, a moving with a rich guy, but um, he was very guilty about divorce as men are and were and always will be. You know, they, men have to leave their children. Oh, it was awful. I was so depressed leaving my children. He loved me. I was depressed for two years. You were, you were. And I can't even imagine, we women, we don't have to leave our children if we, if we split up, but men have to leave their children. It's terrible. And um, so I move in with him and uh, I get a phone call from KGO TV in San Francisco. I had tried out for the morning show, their morning, whatever you call morning shows, the plum job of all, more than three or fifty dollars a week, I'm sure. And they wanted me to come back. I had auditioned to come back and they were going to offer me the job. Can you imagine the dilemma I had, which was... <sighs> hold it, hold it. No, 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 I, let me just finish my... Okay. The answer was no, because I wasn't going to leave you. I finally had you. Uh, I wasn't going to leave you, but I thought, why? Why did they decide the day, two days after I leave the, uh, Northern California? It was the right decision. I called him up and I said, thank you. I can't take the job. Can you imagine how hard that was? Because I still didn't have any money. I had no money. But I got Alan Hamill and I never looked back. And then, wow, a career that I never, ever imagined, never planned on, ever, ever, ever. And so the fact that I went into health and went into um, cutting edge health and, um, uh, makes me believe that everything that happened, Three's Company that happened, um, being fired from Three's Company for having the audacity to ask to be paid with the memo being paid, um, which was so unfair. Uh, the other thing that was unfair, that not one woman, not one man, not anybody in the entire industry uh, stood up for me when I was fired for asking for a raise uh, to be when I asked to be paid for mentorship with the men. That's okay. I never, I don't have, I'm not vindictive, and I just didn't hold on to the anger, and I, I, Alan, Alan Guy came home from that, um, uh, that lawyer's negotiation, which wasn't a negotiation, as Alan says, right? No, I walked in, they fired you. Yeah, isn't that amazing? They wanted to take the biggest woman on television, to make an example to all the other women on television, don't think that you're going to get paid what the men are going to be paid. So now uh, those guys would be in prison today. They would. They would. And I would own ABC. That's right. <laughs> Alan walked up the stairs, and I met him at the landing, and he looked at me and he said, "You're out." I went, "I'm out." What do you mean I'm out? He said, "What he just said. They fired you when I walked in." And then he this incredible man who breathes heavy and gave me a pop brownie and he's a bad boy and all that. He took me by the shoulders and he looked in my eyes and he said, we are going to make this work for us. And he did. And look at the life I've lived. We went on, we decided we're never gonna work for anyone ever again. We're gonna work for ourselves. And um, uh, that's when he went to Las Vegas and took my fame from Three's Company and made a deal with the MGM brand for two, two years. And the guy said, why two years? And he said, Alan said, I know. She, if she doesn't kick it out of the park the first time, she will figure it out. She figures everything out. That's how he believes in me. And we sold out night one. We sold out every night. And I had this amazing career in Vegas, which I loved so much. But during the day, I had nothing to do when you're on the road. So guess what I started doing? I started writing books. And the first book, my first book was 73, the poetry book, but the next book was Keeping Secrets About Growing Up With an Alcoholic Father. And that started a movement in um, this country. 
It started the Children of Alcoholics movement. I'm so proud of that because so many, so many women and men have written me of you told my story and they never had a voice. So I think it's everything that happens to us is meant to be. And that's why I want to tell you about hair, skin, and nails. <laughs> I know it's a segue. I have to make a living. And some of you say, don't sell anything tonight. I think, i got to sell you something because we give you, the, what's the deal? What's the deal tonight? Here's the deal. Okay. This is a good one. 25% off all supplements, promo code COM25, and it's at SuzanneSummers.com. Hair, skin, and nails. Um, when we get older and we're in menopause, stuff happens, right? And um, it's got niacin, vitamin B6, biotin, pentatonic acid, calcium, zinc, copper, bioactive collagen peptides, uh, HNS uh, providing um, keratin, silicone, everything your hair and your nails and your skin needs. I'm 73. I know I'm aging. I know that. But my hair is good. My skin is pretty good. It's not so wrinkled. And my nails are strong. Uh, I keep them short because that's how I like them because I do a lot of housework and gardening. Um, so this is... You don't want you don't want to let your hair get stringy, and if you read this book and you'll get you'll get on bioidentical hormones. It's such a game changer, and the doctors that understand how to prescribe bioidentical hormones are in this in this book. Those of you who just tune in, I'll hold it up. So proud of this book. I write these all by myself. It's a very lonely experience, and I am really proud of this book. That's your best book. I think it's my best book. Well, you know what it is? You've been writing these books for so long that your level of knowledge is cumulative. Yeah, yeah. And every time you write another book, you interview, you know, the top doctors yeah. and top scientists. And they're anxious. And you acquire that knowledge, yeah. and you impart that knowledge to your readership. Mm -hmm. And then the, a year later, there's even more. It's like building blocks, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm sure if you looked at the very first book you ever wrote vis-a-vis -vis the book that you wrote this year, it would be very different in terms of content. Yeah, maybe those first few, but once I got from Keeping Secrets, uh, Touch Me, my first poetry book that I used to read to Johnny Carson all the time, that was my heart. If you ever find that poetry book, I don't even know if you can find a copy anymore, Touch Me. Yeah, you can. Can you? Yeah, you can buy a copy. As a matter of fact, and if you cannot find a copy, the New York Times used to have a thing called Book Finder. Mm -hmm. And if there was a book you really wanted, you'd go on the, the uh, Sunday, I think the Sunday edition, and they advertise in the classified, and you hire a book finder, and they charge you, I don't really know, 25 yeah. bucks yeah. or 35 bucks, and they find, plus the cost of the book, and they find it. See, yeah, now it's just called Google. Or Google. Or Google. <laughs> That's why we have a 50-year-old as president of our company. She keeps us relevant. She keeps us relevant. Um, but you know what? If you just listen to Alan, he, he just believes in me. And what woman wouldn't want to have their man believe in them like he believes in me? I, hey. I so appreciate hey, that. Hey, part of the deal. All right. All right, here's another one. Sexy Leg Renew. Yeah, you got cankles, you got, you got uh, swollen ankles, you got swollen calves, you got uh, painful legs, you got heavy leg, you got all those things that go wrong with your legs. Uh, it's, cir it's circulatory deficits. As we, as we age, we get circulatory deficits. And I write about that, you'd be surprised, in this book. And um, it, it, it affects me too. It affects me uh, because I, um, uh, I, I come from a long line of Irish people who have low homocysteine, which leads to heart issues. My family dies of heart attack, stroke, high blood pressure, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You want to keep your 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 legs, your wonky veins. You want to keep everything flowing. This takes um, supports. Happy Caroline supports uh, happy veins. <laughs> 
just uh, I'm just telling you that when my sister Maureen, who I wish she could call in, because she used to call in when I was on Evine, and um, she would call in and say, I'm trying to get up the up the stairs in these Victorian houses in San Francisco, because she's a realtor. And um, she said, there are days I can't make it. And she said, then I realized I ran out of sexy leg renew. Then I sent her a whole slew of this stuff. And she said, it's all better again. So you want this. So what have we got so far? We got Yeah, um, actually, before you, before you um, segue off of this, we had a formula update about eight months ago on this product. It used to be one as the dosage. It's now two. So someone asked that question if you just want to verify what it. Does that mean? Now. What does that mean, Caroline? The dosage is now two capsules instead of one. Oh, so oh capsule. Okay, okay. So some people were confused about that. Okay, take two. Take two. I'll tell you when your legs are, are heavy and uncomfortable. Come around behind me. You've been on camera all day. Uh -huh. no. You can pour yourself another drink. I'm going to. I just, you have a very attractive bra. Oh, And thank I thought you. I would, you know, pull up your. Oh, your thank job. you very much. Okay. Thank you. And uh, Marie said she'd like to see me. Hi, Marie. Marie and I used to date. <laughs> And I don't know what you're doing these days, Marie. I knew what you were doing when we were dating. <laughs> Marie, <laughs> it's okay, Marie. I don't blame you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's my beautiful wife. Mm. 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 The best. Forever and ever. Thank you. Yeah. He but Marie? To, he talks to me like this all the time. Yeah, we can. <laughs> what did you say to Marie? No, we didn't. Marie. Don't be offended whenever he says Marie. Yeah, Marie, we can, we can talk. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come back. Get yourself another cocktail. Okay, so that's Sexy Leg Renew. Um, this could go up there with the top ten of all our supplements. We. Yeah, can you tell Elizabeth what's in it? Yeah. The diosmin. Diosmin 93, probably even more than that. I gotta wear my glasses. I need glasses this year. I never needed them before, but I look cute. I, I, know, Chris, I just heard you say it helps support happy veins, and it's healthy veins. Her happy. Her <laughs> happy veins. I'm so, you know, it's so, when you sell supplements, there's so little you can say that everything is support. Okay. By the way, by the way you know, with your eyes, Yeah. we make a supplement called ocular renew no we don't we're we're it's coming out no do we make not. ocular review we do no, we, we don't we had it at when we were with forever health but we don't have it in our restore life i'd like to i'd like no. to make that because uh, most of my women are like me we're just starting to like need reading glasses and the other thing i want i've been meaning to talk to you about to have a business meeting caroline i want to do thymus supplementation thymus is what yeah. keeps your immune we, system we strong yeah uh, okay, Diosmin 95. They're on it. Diosmin 95 supports healthy veins. Diosmin 95, uh, uh, 95 helps maintain the elasticity of the veins. Diosmin 95 helps improve the appearance of uh, sightly leg veins. Okay, but most of all, it relieves the uh, discomfort. So enjoy that. All right, but that's not all. That's not all. Now, having trouble sleeping? You know, melatonin is um, something that when we were young, we made an abundance of. You know, when you put your child or your grandchild to bed, if you have the good fortune of having your grandchild stay overnight for the weekend, and you promise them you're gonna scratch their back until they fall asleep. Have you ever noticed it takes uh, like two minutes of scratching their back and they're already like that? Because they have so much melatonin, they go right to sleep. And then around their uh, teen years, have you noticed your teenagers or teenage grandkids um, stay up later than you? It's because they decreased in melatonin and um, they, they just can't sleep because they don't have the, the building blocks. So melatonin is an antioxidant. Here we go again. Antioxidants are the good guys and free radicals are the bad guys. And when you take an antioxidant that also helps support uh, sleeping, you um, are also working at compounding those bad guys away, all that stuff like Alan. Like, I, I can't get over that you have glyphosate in you. I can't get over it. It bothers me so much because I've tried so hard. Don't let that discourage you from living a chemical-free life. I just want you to know 
what's in the air. I'm looking over here at this mountain where they sprayed the fire retardants all night to keep the fire out. That was good. But as I looked at today, when, when we first arrived today in the, uh, the summer bar, Al and I looked out this window here, which we'll show you before we tune out. There was, there were three big horn sheep on the mountain. And this morning when I opened the drapes in our bedroom, they were everywhere. Everywhere. They were galloping yeah. down the mountain and across the mountain. We have a waterfall in the back. And they came over there and they know where it is and they all put their faces in and they were all like rubbing their faces in the water. And I thought, this is the face of God, isn't it? And um, uh, I look over here at all this fire retardant, knowing how many big horn sheep are on that mountain. That's not going to be good for them. It's not going to be good for them. So I'm glad they put the fire out. God bless our firemen. But I get a heartache over the fire. Anyway, sleep renew. I, Alan and I take one of these every night before we go to bed without fail. Without fail. I get the, the uh, help support sleep. And it is an antioxidant. Everything about this is a winner. So Ramona Toda asks, how do I order your new book? I couldn't find it on your site. Really? I thought we had it on our site. Caroline, how do we get the new book? Um, there's a link on our site, but we, we sell it through our partners so that it all collects for your... Oh, okay, so you could probably so go to Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, go, you go to Amazon. Really? We don't sell it ourselves, is it my book? Or do we have to wait till that deal's over? Uh, I mean, we can, but then it doesn't count toward your... Yeah. You know, we like it to count for New York Times. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. But I'll see if it's on your... Yeah. Yeah, I, I really, uh, so I'm not selling this clearly for myself. I'm selling this to you today because I want you to know what's in here. This is the Bible. I really, by the time I've written, this is number 27. This is 27th book I've written. I know how to lay out a book. I know how to lay it out. Do you see on the side here, see these shadings? This allows you to go to different sections more easily. So you have to like comb through. Okay, the last one today is CoQ10. Wow, is this an important supplement. This is so important. CoQ10, let me go into the cellular system that you and I are. You and me are approximately 70 trillion cells. And every cell in the center of it has a energy center called the mitochondria. And that's so great. When you're young, you're making tons of CoQ10 in your body. You make it in your body, by the way, as we get old. Aging is about worn out parts. That's the, the gist of this book. Aging is about worn out parts. When you, um, when you uh, age, uh, the, the energy center has lost its ability to make CoQ10. Now, here's how CoQ10 works in Suzanne's speak. Have you ever been in an outboard motorboat? Um, I, I once owned an outboard motorboat. I just loved it. I was quite young and I was married to uh, Bruce's father and that was so fun for us. We had this outdoor motorboat. And on the back, when you have an outdoor motor, you have a ripcord, right? Or if your dad had an electric lawnmower, there was a ripcord on it. And think of CoQ10, this, as the ripcord that activates the mitochondria, which is the energy center of your cell. Why do you care? You see old people walking across the street all stooped over and hunched over and shuffling and everything. They have no energy. What does that mean? That means in every one of their 70 trillion cells, the energy center in the middle, the, the, the mitochondria is like, might as well be flat like that. Uh, I'm exhausted. You put this in and it wakes it up. Can I give you a better description? I know there's a more scientific way of doing it. So are these, is this like a whole package where you get all of this or is this one, I don't know how this is working tonight. Carol. It's everything is 25% off. So you okay. can get any supplement right. you want all right. and they're all 25% off. All right, can I go through them? Calm Renew, Calm Renew. I talk to you about that a lot. Curcumin powerful antioxidant, takes down inflammation, okay. Hair, skin, and nails, 
hair, skin, and nails. Need, need I say more? Sexy leg renew. Remember those veins. This will take care of your veins. Um, sleep renew. What is better? What is more blissful than a beautiful night's sleep? And then finally, CoQ10 to get energy back. We put all these together tonight to re-remind you that in these painful times that we're all going through right now, that there are ways to prop up the health of our body in a natural way, and that's what I wanted to do tonight. And other than that, what I really wanted to do tonight was just have a tequila with you, to forget about the problems of the world, to just enjoy one another. I enjoy these cocktail parties that we're having I have no idea how many of you are out there tonight, but I know you have come in droves. <clears throat> well, you know, what, what happens what? is that <clears throat> the number of people we have now, I think this is the way it works, is the number of people that uh, Facebook allows us to have from our list. And then once it's over, it goes into archives, and then they do something called boosting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where you actually yeah, right. pay for the show to go to a bunch of other people. And you can send it to as many people as you want. It's, I mean, it's really quite a wonderful system for Facebook as well as for us. And by the way, if you buy two of these, okay, supplements, uh -huh. and you put on Tito Puente, okay, <laughs> you can... system, cancer, um, things that um, are of significance to so many. And we are going to be doing a Be Live interview with him down the road. He's a genius. He's a, he's a genius. And I hope, um, Dip, Dr. Maharaj, you are watching tonight. I told him, I said, you probably don't know how to go to Facebook Live. You can, you can solve <laughs> the, the problems of the uh, human body, but you probably don't know how to go to Facebook but go to my Facebook page. I said, there's some techie in your office who will understand. So I hope you're there, Dip. So, what do you come out here and talk to me, Al? Oh, okay. You're so darling. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm eating my salty things. Tonight I have, here's what I have tonight. Celery, zucchini, carrots, radishes, um, red pepper, tomatoes, and... For dinner. Some delicious hummus. And, and the other thing, mm, this, this is, uh, do you want me to make you one? Sure. Oh, I don't know if I can do it like this. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it when I'm over there. Triple cream cheese, fig crackers, and truffle white honey. truffle honey, and some Marconi almonds. Oh my God, this is. Yum. That combination. Can you make me one? Sure. It is hey, so great. While you guys are snacking, and yeah. I'm so jealous, um, I just want to give a couple updates because people were asking a few questions here. Our probiotic, yes, it is out of stock. It has been a couple of weeks without it. We had a slowdown during um, the COVID virus. The manufacturer had to shut down. They are back up and running safely. It, it is on order and we will get it back in stock as soon as we can and we will let you know when it is back in stock. Um, and for those of you who are asking about Suzanne Selects, we're going to do that show on Friday night at 5 o'clock. Bruce and I are having our first trip down to the desert to see Suzanne and Alan since the quarantine, so we're super excited to be in person with them again. And then Saturday we're doing Suzanne's debut of Ghost Flower, which are those amazing activewear. Um, and you're going to love what yeah, she's done with us. So we have a super fun rest of the week planned. While you were talking, he spilled honey all over me. <laughs> and then licked it off my dress. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, so. <laughs> we love our bad boy. He's so bad. He's so bad. Okay, here's a bigger piece. Okay, don't put it, don't Keeps it interesting. Don't get, put so much honey on it. You drip it all over me. Okay, good. <laughs> Oh my God, you can't believe how great this tastes. You all just witnessed the most mad Suzanne ever gets at him. 
That's about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, isn't it wonderful? Also, um, we will be back on Instagram on Friday and Saturday. So for those of you who prefer watching on Instagram, you'll have the option. How come we work on what happened? Why did we? Why did we? Because then you need two phones. Oh right, 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 it's right. It's a lot for Alan right. to manage both. Oh right, with Caroline's here, she works yeah. one camera and he works the other. That's right. Yeah. No, I, all is going to be well. No, I work both phones, and then Alan gets to be in front of camera, and yeah. he doesn't have to be this techie guy anymore, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to be. No. You can just be goofy guy. Goofy. Just yeah. I've got this nice dress on and he dropped honey on it. <laughs> yeah, so? <laughs> I just went to the dry cleaner for the first time in three months. So check out I your honey. I don't even know when they opened, but I... Because, I of, the, in my because of the pandemic? So long, I hope yeah, it's around. gone. Oh, oh. See, that, wow. the honey's gone. The honey's gone because you licked it off. Right. I know. <laughs> I don't see the stain. Where is it? It's on my, it, he licked it off my arm. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, okay. Right. I actually sucked it off your dress. You see, he sucked it off my dress. Yeah, that's Al. Yeah. The guy who gave me a hot brownie on my no, first day. If I licked it off, it probably would have left something on your dress. A residue. Right. So right. I decided to do Because of your what? lipstick. Right. Yeah. So right. what I decided to do, I'm going to suck it off. Uh -huh. And that way there'll be that's nothing so great. left. Yeah. That's so great, Al. Yeah. 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 So, are there any questions? I haven't talked to any of my people out there tonight. Any questions, Caroline? Uh, I've been giving you some of the, uh, let's see here. Yeah. That, I mean, a lot of, you know, I, I'm sort of discussing what they're asking about. Um, people were asking about the select box, which we answered. <laughs> While you're talking, guess what he's doing? It's so original. He's doing his Biden impression. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, how does that one go? Actually, I'm the only one in America who does it. Could you not drink, <laughs> spill your yeah. drink on my dress now on this okay. side? Remember Von Meter used to do John F. Kennedy? Uh, the, you, have to be my... re, you have to be really old to remember Von Meter. Von Meter. Yeah. Do you remember Von Meter, Caroline? No. No. Not even Caroline. Who's in her fifties? Remembers Von Meter. Well, so, Suzanne, who's the doctor who aligns the jaw? Debbie would like to know. Doctor Leonard Feld. He's in the book. He's in the book. F E L D. A new way to age. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I've talked to a lot of cardiologists, and the one place that cardiology, cardiology has ignored is the, the, the jaw as complicit in heart attack strokes. I, I think, I honestly think that I'm the first person who has made that connection in this book. I really, because I've never read it. this groundbreaking information. It is. I know it how is. hard you hunted for that information. And that's the amazing thing about you. When you hunt and you find it, you share it. Like you feel like it's your duty and we're all so much my duty. Because of you. Okay. It's my okay. Duty. Thank you, but it is my okay. Duty. Break yeah. breaking news. What? Our dear dear friend Wendy Walker, <laughs> who produced Larry King for forty five hundred years, <laughs> says hi. Uh, it's Wendy. Oh, I love Wendy. Help me lose ten pounds. Love you. I well, I can I can answer that question. How could you lose ten Cut pounds? off your foot. <laughs> Sugar and yeast. Tequila has no yeast. That's a big one for any of you who are bloating. And the clear tequila that I drink has little to no sugar. When you drink um, mixed drinks that have sugar in them, that's why you get a headache. That's why you wake up sweating. That's why. Uh, and, and the sugar makes you want to have the second drink and maybe the third drink. This, if you notice, I have I have one. I mean, it's, it's a stiff one, but it's completely satisfying and I don't gain any weight drinking tequila 
I don't get headaches, I don't get sweaty, I don't wake up in the middle of the night, I don't, I don't have any of the adverse effects of alcohol. And, it's, and you take liver renew. And I take liver renew. on sale. And, and she's right, I, and I actually do every night before I go to, to, to bed. Because we usually have a, a cocktail every night. Uh, liver renew is essentially our uh, formula for milk thistle, say that three times. Milk thistle, milk thistle, milk thistle, <laughs> milk thistle. <laughs> and and um, every night before I go to bed, after I've had a cocktail, I take milk thistle and acetylcysteine, which is called NAC, and SAM E, S A M E. And I never have any, any, any adverse from alcohol effects from alcohol. So why do I go to all that trouble? Because I really enjoy this hour with Al. I look forward to it every every day. I find myself around, I look up and I go, oh, it's four o'clock. What an hour I get to have my date with Al. It's a date. And um, has it made our life better? I don't know. I, I just, I, can't, I, I love our life, so. Not a little booze, you know. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just something we both look forward to, so. We talk. If you, if we talk. That's what it is, we talk. We sit usually at the outdoor bar, but now in the summer when it's this hot, we come inside and we have these relaxed conversations without our checking out, you know, who's, who's just texted us or who's just emailed us. Do you hear that bird? Yeah. Um, so just so you know, um, we are, we are at, we're past six o'clock, so oh. whatever you guys feel like oh. we're wrapping up. I so enjoyed this hour. It felt so relaxed, and I hope that this has um, brought a little calm to you tonight. It did to me, so thank you for joining me. Um, I just feel better about the whole day that we had this hour together. So we're What's giant. That song that uh, Carol Burnett? I'm so glad we had this time together. Then you pull, you pull your ear. Yeah, you got to be 150 to know what that's about. <laughs> she was so, she is great. Regina she Farmer is great. says, Pretty Top. What? Regina Farmer yeah, says, one. Pretty Top. Uh -huh. And by the way, Regina, the top of her dress is also pretty. <laughs> so, let me show you. Oh, what are you going to show them? I'm going to show you. Al's taking you away from me now. I don't know if you can see the, you won't be able to see the bighorn, but they're out there. Right on top of that mountain. Are they? Well, there are like three of them out there, but they're so... Yeah, it's for losing picture of them. You know? Uh, oh, I would have loved you all to see them. Who has sheep? Big horn sheep with those big ram yeah. horns. Okay. Well, let me say goodbye to everybody. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll see you Friday night with Bruce and Caroline. And um, I can't wait. And um, je t'adore.